what's up, what's up, what's up? This is HC Express back at you with another pro tip for my truck drivers and my dispatchers out there. Today, I'm going to touch on the topic of forced dispatch and non forced dispatch. And what's the pros and cons of both of them? All right, let's go. All right, so today we're going to talk about forced dispatches. The first and foremost topic forced dispatch. And what does it mean? Um, if you're coming from a big company, forced dispatch means, hey, we're going to send you to Colorado and you can't say nothing about it. That's pretty much what pretty much company drivers may think of or people who just got out of the business of becoming a company driver or coming from a company driver, should I say, now they're owner operator. And it, I heard so many horror stories of, you know, being forced dispatch. Somebody sending you to somewhere crazy you know what i'm saying and you stuck there for four days you know in the snow blizzard or something like that so that's what forced dispatch is for um a lot of truck drivers but for independent contractors that are dispatchers forced dispatch is a little bit different you know it's not what you think somebody's you know debowing you because that's the first thing you think of yo yo you you, you, <laughs> you better go to colorado you know but it's not like that Forced dispatch is totally different for a um, independent contractor that's a dispatcher. Um, it's, it's the same. The same rule applies. Um, they call. They call the broker. They negotiate the load with the broker, and then they text you the information over um, to where to go, and then pretty much you go on. The only difference is when you force dispatch with an independent uh, freight dispatcher. They have a conversation with you in the beginning. Now that conversation consists of, hey, how how many miles do you um, like to dead head? What's the max? Um, what's the max weight that you want on your truck? What areas you don't like to go? You don't like to go to Colorado? All right, I'm not sending you to Colorado. You don't want to go up to New York or the boroughs? Okay, we're not sending you there. You don't want to go down south? Okay. Once they write all the information down, including your break-even point, okay, you need to be at um, two at least over two dollars a mile. You can't take nothing less. Whatever, whatever it is. Once they write the information down, then they go forth and conquer and and get you a good load. That's what forced dispatch is with a uh, independent freight dispatch. Now, what's non-forced dispatch? Non-forced dispatch is pretty much the totally opposite. Um, pretty much. Once they call the broker, they call them up. Hey, TQL, okay, got this load for $1,000. Uh, can you do 12? Okay, let me call you right back and make sure the driver agrees with this. They call you and say, hey, got this load going from Chicago to such and such. You think you want it? You know, they tell you all the details and tell you what, you know, they negotiate, they negotiated the rate for. And it's up to you as the truck driver or your carrier to say yes. The con to that is um, those loads go just like this in the load board. I mentioned this before on one of my videos. Loads really go quick. You know, you would have to be a dispatcher or have to get on the load board yourself to really see how fast those loads go. You know, it's I, I compare it to you at a family reunion and they say, let's eat. What does everybody do? Everybody ah, running for the food. You know, I'm trying to get the wings. That's how it is every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday morning for them loads. And you really think that somebody's gonna wait, you know, that broker's gonna wait on you. Oh, that that lady seems such a nice young lady. I'm, I'm gonna hold this load for you. No, <laughs> that broker trying to go to Cancun next week. They about to let that thing go so they can get commission and they on to the next one. So that's the kind about it. The pro, you feel warm and, and, and fuzzy inside. You feel like a boss, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, yeah, come back and tell me. You know, that's, that may not how you feel. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of joking a little bit, but that's the kind of um, of non-forced dispatch. The, um, the pro for forced dispatch is you're getting loads quick. You're getting loads quick. The con of it, if you have a dispatcher that's not experienced, they may book you some horrible loads. But that's the thing that I want um, the carriers out there to understand. If you own your company, make sure when you're um, interviewing a dispatcher before you first, you know, you know, sign up with them. And the same thing for the dispatchers. When you sign in that carrier on, you make sure you have that conversation with them. Like I said, as I mentioned before. 
hey, how many deadhead mouths you, you don't like to do? What's the max? Okay, you don't want to go over 100? All right, and you put that down in a folder. Folder. Okay, you don't want to go to Colorado, you don't want to go to the west side, you don't want to go to um, California, oh, you can't go to Kentucky, you don't have your KYU, okay, uh, you don't want to go to New York, you don't want to mess around with Brooklyn and stuff like that, all right, let me write that down, you don't, you don't like the snow, okay, keep that down, hey, how much weight, okay, keep it under 42,000 pounds, okay, let me write that down, oh, I need to be home on such and such date, I need to be home every other week, that helps the dispatcher out and that helps the driver out now once again they're able to call that broker and get that load quick so they're not trying to call you and you you might be busy you might be who knows checking in the area you in um i had this happen plenty of times i'm trying to get in contact with a driver you know because a load is is not the load was pretty much not on her for as far as the recommendations that she had that I writ, written down when we, when we first set up. It was it was out of her recommendations, so I had to call her and like, look, good paying load, but it's forty four thousand pounds. Couldn't get in contact with her because she was in a bad area. When I finally got in contact with her, she was like, yeah yeah yeah, because it was it was such a good paying load. And then this was when I was new. I really didn't know the um, area of Texas. Didn't know that Texas didn't have hills. It was just flat. She was like, yeah, it's Texas. It's flat. It doesn't matter that I'm, I'm hauling heavy in Texas. Call back the broker. It was gone. He was like, yeah, man, I, I let that thing go 15 minutes ago. So that's the thing that you want to do with um, your drivers. You want to ask them just those just in case um, loads. Like, hey, if we get stuck in a, a tight situation, which will be every blue moon, hey, can I book something that's 44,000 pounds? Hey, if we're in Texas and, and it's paying four dollars a mile do you do you mind because some drivers they don't mind but then some drivers do because i knew one guy he had an old trailer he couldn't haul over forty thousand pounds even if it was paying a million dollars a mile he was like bro i can't do it it would mess my trailer up you have to keep it at 40 or below so you got to have these conversations with these drivers so they can really understand that it is and i hate to say force dispatch because we're not forcing you not like you back at, you know, Landstar. Not like you back at J.B. Hunt. We ain't lying, man. Hey, hey, you going to Oregon. I don't care. I don't care. It's a tsunami and a, and a blizzard and hell on earth is out there. I don't care. <laughs> you know, you're going over there. We not sending you there. This is something that something that we already talked to you before we even um, set up, before you signed the contract. So force dispatch is really not like how you think it is when you work for that, um, that company, um, in the past, all right? So this is Agency Express, just offering another pro tip um, for my drivers and my dispatchers out there. If you like the video, please comment and let me know, hey, this is cool. If you got some suggestions, put it in the comments. And um, like I said, I appreciate you guys um, watching the video and I'm out.